The wife of detained Taiwanese NGO worker and human rights activist Li Mingzhe is set to travel to Beijing next Monday to call upon Chinese authorities to release her husband. At a press conference, Li Qingyu said she was waiting until next week to avoid causing unnecessary diplomatic friction ahead of U.S. President Donald Trump's meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping this week. There have been all kinds of unofficial reports saying that Li Mingzhe was framed on charges ranging from terrorism in support of Tibetan independence to soliciting prostitutes. This makes me feel as though I'm once again in the white terror, being trampled on and suffering as a family member of a victim. Li Jingyu held a press conference calling for China to release her husband and is planning to travel to Beijing to lobby Chinese authorities in person. She said at a press conference that her decision to go to China next Monday was down to the fact that Chinese government offices were closed over the long tomb-sweeping holiday weekend and was also influenced by the timing of Chinese President Xi Jinping's meeting with the U.S. president. The result of the Trump-Xi meeting may affect peace and stability in this region. I don't want to intervene in this sort of international event through my own attempt to save my husband. I'm going to Beijing to save someone, not to stir up trouble. Li Jingyu said that neither Taiwan's Mainland Affairs Council nor the Straits Exchange Foundation had given her any concrete help or information in the case. She said she hoped that the Taiwan government could at least clarify whether it was unable to help or whether it was simply trying to avoid getting involved. The Straits Exchange Foundation has sent a total of four official communications, and the Mainland Affairs Council has sent China two letters. If mainland China were able to respond to the demands of this family member, we at the Mainland Affairs Council and the Straits Exchange Foundation would be willing to send officials to accompany her. The Mainland Affairs Council indicated it had already used all possible channels to seek information on Li Mingzhe, but that it would be unable to send someone to accompany Li Jingyu on her trip across the strait unless China were willing to respond in more detail to its requests.